I feel like you know that this is your purpose. So how so. did you arrive at that? That whether it was telling somebody's story on video or now it's you wanna you're telling stories through your novels and sharing I think maybe what's at the crux of it, but it, when did you maybe discover that, okay, I'm I'm done with that, this is my path now and whether it will bring you all the money at some point. Yeah. But I'm still frankly figuring out where I'm going to land. I've taken on a lot of things. I do writing workshops. I talk about marketing. I talk about how to survive having old demented people in your house. Not my husband or me. <laughs> I'm talking about <laughs> mothers and mothers-in-law. I haven't completely landed on it yet, but I'm getting closer to it. I've always liked making people laugh. I think it's always been a great defense mechanism. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have been fighting my weight since I was literally six years old. I was raised in a very Catholic suburb of Chicago, one of two Jewish families in the whole town. And so you either you either become maybe a little bit shy and withdrawn and looking for trouble or you make people laugh so they will have to like you. And I think that's the way I, kind of the way I went. I realized I can make people laugh and then they like me or maybe they wouldn't ordinarily. It's that, I think it's a insecurity kind of thing, but it's a good defense mechanism and it, it kind of pays off. And, uh, and we, all want, we all want to laugh and we all want somebody oh yeah, around who, right, right. as soon as you walk in, it's like, oh great, they're here. Yeah. yeah. Now the party can start. Yeah, although we know when someone says, oh, say something funny, I can't do that. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. if you can find See, the- See, it worked. There you exactly. go. Exactly. <laughs> Look at that, it did work. <laughs> you have to find the funny in situations. And even when we had my mother-in-law, who was quite a woman, um, <laughs> and my mother in my house, at the same time for five years. One had Alzheimer's, one had frontal lobe dementia. Insanity. And raising kids who, and trying to be all, all things to all people, you know, dinner on the table and uh, trying to do everything for everybody because that was my new definition. I'm a stay-at-home mom. If you're a stay-at-home mom, that means you do everything because you don't have the right not to do everything because he's out there making money. This is what you do. And you begin to realize you're driving yourself crazy. I discovered pharmaceuticals, you know, legal ones, pharmaceuticals, and that helped me get through some of it. But you also have to learn how to laugh at situations. But 